Hello everyone, it's the Enlightened Listed here, your best dressed gamer, and welcome to the new video series, Tales of the Gun, Enlisted Edition, where we're going to be looking at the weapons here on the amazing game, Enlisted. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 7.62 bullet spitting killer, the PPD, but first, let's get the history behind this Soviet badass gun. The PPD is usually confused with the PPSH, as they do look similar, but they are quite different. The PPD-34 was developed by a well-known Russian gun designer, Vasily Degorodjev, hopefully I said that right. His SMG project started back in 1929, but it had some setbacks with the original design, as the 1,000 shot, you heard me right, the 1,000 rounds per minute fire rate made the recoil unmanageable. With this rate of fire, I'm pretty sure that Dmitry was putting a fuck tons of holes in the roof, so Degorodjev took his design back to the drawing board, and in 1935, his final design was accepted into the service and was usually given to NCOs and officers alike. The rifle would see brief action in the Winter War with the Finns, but more extensive usage against the Germans in World War II. The SMG, however, was dethroned in 1941 by the PPSH due to it being easier and cheaper to make. The PPD in Enlisted keeps to its history with the SMG slinging lead faster than your AI squad mates can die with the rate of fire at 830 rounds per minute with a 2.3 second reload time. This rate of fire is going to burn through your 25 round mags you start off with, but do not fear, you will be able to get a drum mag at campaign 11. This will keep you in the fight longer without having to reload and makes your SMG a squad wiped machine. With a time to kill that is very respectable up close is the ideal choice for aggressive players. Accuracy is adequate at range, with a predictable, predictable recoil pattern of straight up and a pull to the left. How I would use the PPD in game as a mentioned before is a weapon of aggressiveness to push objectives. Your loadout should have an ammo pouch or an engineer buddy nearby so you can put down an ammo crate for you, as you're going to be burning through bullets faster than a redneck at a gun range on the 4th of July weekend. I would suggest using smoke grenades over frags personally for you to close the distance cross those dangerous intersections, and be able to get and capture that objective. The PPD is the SMG of SMGs, with its rate of fire and accuracy at medium distance, with a time to kill to make the golden gun from golden Eye blush, it is a gun for you. But how does it compare to the other SMGs in the Russian side? But well, one of the first SMGs that you can compare it to is the PPK-41. Now if you bought the Soviet Founders Pack back in closed beta, you have access to this. It is a little bit slower in the rate of fire to the PPD, but it is better at those medium engagement distance, and I think it has a better sight for me personally to be able to engage at a medium distance. I call it an overall balanced SMG, with it being something that is not perfect up close, but not terrible at medium distance. Now the PPSH is basically a PPD-40 with the drum mag that you can upgrade, so I don't find it too, too different as far as rate of fire. Its recoil pattern is a little bit more uh, forgiving as it goes straight up, as opposed to going straight up and to the left. Now, I don't think it's worth it to be able to spend those silver weapons cards on this, as the PPD-40 has just the most rate of fire and ammo capacity. Honestly, the PPD is my favorite gun to use in the Moscow campaign for sure, and is a staple of my pushing an aggressive squad loadout. Its high rate of fire and time to kill leaves a trail of raging quitting children in its path. With a few upgrades and a supporting teammate, you can keep this killing machine fed, pushing forward for the motherland comrade with speed, aggression, and a fuck ton of rounds downrange. It is the PPD SMG. Hey guys, if you liked today's video, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Let me know what weapon you would like me to do the next Tales of the Gun series below in the comments. And while you're down there in the description, go ahead and check out our community Discord and Twitch link. By the way, I am streaming every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday this game. And as always, I'll see you on the battlefield, comrade.